we going? So here we are in um, Port Denison. Um, as you can probably hear, it's quite windy. Uh, it's the Indian Ocean out there. And the township over here. So this one's a little bit bigger than the last one we went to. So, uh, Port Denison actually is the largest regional town on the list of um, locations that suffer blackouts well beyond what they should be. Um, we're looking at a plant of around about five megs to get this town into a stable situation. So uh, as you can see, beautiful beaches all the way up the coast there. Um, more of the fishing village over here. Uh, and the property we're going to have a look at is on the other side of the town there. So uh, I'll take you over to have a look at that and um, we'll see what we can find. Oh, let's just get out of the wind. It's a bit windy there. As you can see, it's uh, not a bad spot. Uh, very warm here at the moment. Uh, a bit cooler than when I spoke to you before. It's about 37 at the moment, but it's still quite warm. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's go have a look at the property and see what it looks like. Okay, so uh, here we are. Um, this is the property behind me. Um, so we're not too far from town, but what's um, interesting about this one here, there's a bit of sun right behind it. We've got that power pole right there. Um, as you can see, she's got three phase high voltage lines. Both well and truly high voltage. Um, but right behind us is the other line. So we've actually got three lines, uh, sorry, two lines in this town that um, go through, right? So there's the line going down this field, all the way down there, right? And then there's this line here that goes across there. Both of which converge on this corner here of this property here, which we're gonna buy. Uh, so that's meaning, um, Oh, actually he's already met, he's already spoken to the owner. Uh, contracts have been drawn up right now as far as I'm aware on this one. As you can see, it's dead flat and it's got nothing on it. We can literally start digging holes and putting in the panel. Um, transformers on this one here. And that's probably good enough to get us going. Oh, they actually, no, that one's not. We're going to have to connect up to the pole over here. chatting to you and um, check out if there's no freaking snakes around here but anyway uh, just check out how it's far yeah that's on the other side of the road anyway so we may as well upgrade that pole but anyway that's a technical issue that we'll get the uh, engineers to sort out for us the town is just on the top of that hill in the far, far distance that you can wear well, where's my finger there um, and sort of, I don't know whether the zoom's strong enough on this, but there's a, an aerial you can see in the distance behind that. That's actually at the port where I did my first video. So, um, Ocean is just on the other side of that dirt track up there. Uh, main brand highway, which is actually from the old Perth. It's just the intersection up there. So, um, this property is well and truly uh, perfect for what we want to do. That's, oh, sorry, I just noticed the Western Power sign there, so just sort of check that out. But yeah, uh, uh, you can actually get a piece of land better. Uh, as you can see, plenty of sunshine. As you can probably hear, there's plenty of wind. Uh, you've got the um, uh, and I'll try and take a video of it as we drive past. We've got the walkway wind farm not far from here. Uh, as far as I'm aware, that's the largest one in Western Australia at the moment. Also got the Greenith solar plant, which is the original um, large-scale solar plant built in Western Australia by Synergy. So 
some years ago. Um, they ended up selling that to a joint venture between Dutch Infrastructure Fund, GE, and a couple of other giants in the world of energy. Um, but uh, like I mentioned before, that again, it's plugged straight into both the wind farm and the solar farm, plugged straight into um, transmission lines, taking that power, in this case, to Geraldton, but also to Perth and um, uh, likewise in the town of Dora. For those of you who are not too familiar with Western Australia, Geraldton is one of our, what we would call cities. Um, it's about 30,000 people or something like that. Um, outside of Perth, you don't really have big cities. Bunbury sits at about 90,000 or 89,000 or something like that. Uh, Buston, I'm going to get out of the wind. Buston market from that area. So, uh, a little bit less um, Mandro, which was once a city, uh, separate sort of town. is about 124, 125, but it, you could effectively say Mandra is now part of Perth. So that's our um, second location for today. Uh, I'm now gonna head to the next one. Still about two or two and a half hours away, so I don't think I'll see that property um, today. I ended up by getting a wreck. Don't, sorry. <laughs> don't think I'll see that property today, but um, we will look at it first thing in the morning. Okay, speak to you soon.